Last week on Heather's WeatherWise, I told you about the lake breeze. That affects areas within a few miles of the lake, but sometimes Lake Erie can have much farther reaching effects, and we call that the lake shadow. That's the topic of this week's Heather's WeatherWise. The lake breeze's biggest impact is usually on the temperature right next to the water. It helps keep it a little bit cooler. A lake shadow can cover a much larger area, and while it can certainly affect the temperature, the much more noticeable effect is on thunderstorms, or better yet, the fact that there usually aren't any underneath the lake shadow. This happens a lot in the summertime in western New York. It's a warm, humid day, you see the clouds start growing near Buffalo, but not much happens in the city. We get plenty more thunderstorms though in the interior southern tier. Here's a look at what's going on when that happens. Usually ahead of a cold front, we've got a strong southwest breeze. That helps to draw that warm, humid air up from the southeast into the northeast. But that very same southwest wind is also pushing the air right at the surface, right over Lake Erie, which if it's cooler than the air, is going to cool it ever so slightly. If that wind is persistent enough, it can push some of that lake cooled air across the Niagara frontier. The cooler air at the ground is now just a little bit heavier than the warmer air above it. That means it won't rise. The air is warm, but it's stable. You can't have thunderstorms with stable air, at least not close to the lake. Once that air moves far enough away from the lake, it's able to rewarm and become unstable again. That's why we tend to see more numerous thunderstorms in the interior southern tier, and that's also why those storms tend to be a little bit stronger. The wind direction is most important when it comes to the lake shadow, because when the wind is out of the southwest, the air is moving along the entire length of Lake Erie, and it's able to cool off a lot more. That makes the air more stable. But if we get more of a westerly breeze, the air is moving over a smaller section of Lake Erie. It doesn't cool off quite as much. The air is a little bit less stable, and we're still able to get a few thunderstorms in anywhere in western New York. That's going to do it for this week's episode of Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember, it's good to be a geek.